Meanwhile, allies of Vice President Judge Omar Binay are confident that he will be cleared of all corruption allegations leveled against him. Let's have more of this report from Freddy Evando. It was time for the allies of Vice President Giorgio Marbina to fire their load of charges against his critics in the ongoing Senate Blue Ribbon Subcommittee inquiry of alleged corruption in the construction of the Makati City Building 2. UNA President and Spokesperson Congressman Toby Tianco Beard, former Vice Mayor Ernesto Mercado's failure to declare 800 hectares of properties he owns in several parts of the country. They are resorts spread out in key tourist destinations. Mas mahalaga, imbisigahan rin naman ng gobyerno yung mga pag-aari ni Mercado. Di ba? Meron siyang 100 hectare na island property sa underwater garden resort sa Palawan. Meron siyang Villa Resort sa Villa Juanita sa Coron, Palawan. May isang hektarya sa Pateros. Meron siyang um, 200 hectares sa uh, Los Baños. Meron sa Nueva Ecija, 500 hectares. So, eh kung inaamin naman niya na siya'y kumita sa gobyerno, eh dapat mapailan siya ng plan there at imbisigahan itong mga properties na to. Chianco said Mercado has a lot to explain and it's time to file plunder charges for unexplained wealth. Chianco also disclosed that Olivar, who was claimed to be a dummy of the vice president, is actually Mercado's man. Olivar claimed that Binay demanded condominiums from five developers. It was dismissed by those named. Olivar was Mercado's companion to take shots of the alleged Binay Hacienda in Rosario, Batangas. Siya yung nakasakay doon sa helicopter nung kinunan yung Batangas property na ibinibintang kay BP Binay. So paano magiging yung dami ni BP Binay ang kukuha ng literato ng Batangas property? Okay? Number two, itong uh, yung sinasabi niyang condominium na nakapangalan sa kanya na sinasabi niyang hindi kanya at sinasabi niya kay BP Binay, yung Sunda Peak, dun ho na, na namatay o nabawil yung live-in partner ni Mercado. So, paano magiging unit ni BP Binay doon? Eh, ang nakatira doon, yung live-in partner ni Mercado. Because of this, Tianco said the investigation is losing interest from the people since the allegations are lies. In time, Tianco is confident the vice president's track record of public service will prevail in uncovering the truth. Hindi ako isa doon sa makikiusap sa kanila o hihiling sa kanila na ihinto na nila yung investigasyon. Ituloy nila hanggat gusto nila yung investigasyon. Because... Para makita ng taong bayan, yung nakikita ngayon na una-una, hindi naman to in aid of legislation. For the People's Television Network, this is Freddie Abando reporting.